for joining us tonight. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Tonight we are hearing reaction after an Uber driver was carjacked in broad daylight over the weekend. Henrico police telling us this happened off Gaten Road just after 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan spoke with other rideshare drivers in the Richmond area and brings us this story. When a rideshare driver accepts a ride, they have no idea if the simple act will lead to a normal interaction or a dangerous one. A Saturday afternoon ride for one local Uber driver quickly took a turn for the worst after they were carjacked in Henrico's West End. Police say that driver was robbed by two juveniles off Gaten Road just after 3 p.m. Definitely had some experiences, but not where somebody is going to jack my car. Kit Fudison has been a rideshare driver for 10 years, and he says this news is troubling. Police were able to locate the stolen vehicle and perform a traffic stop near Holman Ridge Road, which turned into a police pursuit. The car crashed and the suspects fled on foot, but police eventually found and arrested them. If I have a bad feeling, I just want to take the ride or if it's just like a sketch uh, profile, like somebody has no rides and they've been uh, signed up for years or something like that, where the profile just seems like it's weird, I just won't take it. And while some drivers stay safe by trusting their gut, others use situational awareness to their advantage. I would encourage everybody to just really be aware at all times. You know what I mean? Keep your head on a swivel. One specific thing Fudison says he'd like to see is required profile pictures for riders, while others are calling for better communication from the rideshare apps. I would say just having uh, just like a picture but, you know, that's an option for passengers, so, you know, it can't really be enforced. So that's, that's one thing. If these larger companies were paying attention more so like a local business would be doing to the people that are working there, you know what I'm saying, working those roles, I think they would be a lot more successful. Henrico police ask anyone with any information about this incident to give them a call. Reporting, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.